Hello everybody, this is Hammer Wolf coming at you with another Gwencast. This one's going to be done live while I'm playing a game, so just so that I can talk about a few things that are uh, just some house cleaning things. So I have a new series coming out, it's called Aces and Amateurs. It'll be premiering Monday uh, at the regular time, which is 5 central. And so you'll want to check that out. It, the first episode is not Gwent, actually. It'll be Eternal. So if you've heard of that, that'll be a pretty interesting watch. If you haven't heard of Eternal, it's actually... The series is geared towards people who play a lot of games, but maybe haven't played that game in particular. It's not a a play-by-play, walk-through-the-rules type deal. It's more of a let's kind of dive right in and learn how to play type deal. So we are also going to be back on a pretty regular schedule. I recently got a new graphics card that is pretty good. It'll fix all that color problems I was having. And hopefully that will be the end of all those issues that I was having. Uh, it was just a real big headache to to release content because it just took a whole extra step of color correction and sometimes it still didn't come out right. So there's that. And uh, I think that's really it for the house cleaning things. Um, so in this game, I am playing the the restore Dorigeri combo, which is pretty strong. I think it puts a lot of power on the board. This is a pretty standard opening, so the the standard action for mulligans for this deck is first you mulligan one clan on crate raider, and then you mulligan um, Morkvarg. And Saris, if those are in your hand, Saris first. So it'll go Clan on Crate, Saris, Markvark, Olgirid. Um, I actually tend to keep the Olgirid in my hand if I have a second Clan on Crate, and I'll mulligan the Clan on Crate instead because I actually don't mind playing out Olgirid in a lot of matchups, this matchup in particular. So I think that we're going to coral this at the end of this round, probably. So let's go ahead and we're going to get this guy and we're going to maybe discard a clan on crate. Yeah, let's just do that. I was thinking about maybe discarding something for priestess to rest, but I'm not quite worried about that just yet. I think that I'll probably just pass this turn. Oh, don't think I can pass. Oh, we're even. Hmm. Do I want to pass on even? I think I do. I think I want to pass on even. Since I was forced to play first, he would be forced to play first in this next round. So, And I will have more carryover than him because my old gear was hard cast instead of uh, discarded off of Brand. So I'm not actually sure he discarded an old gear. He didn't. That's right, he discarded the uh, Skirmishers. So yeah, strengthening the Skirmishers, that's fine. That card will eventually be shot down by Coral. Uh, we also have the option to shoot it down with Eskal. If that comes up again. We're going to hope to try to draw a... Hmm, what do we want to draw here? Uh, Dorigeri would be good, Sigjifo would be good. Don't really care for Madman Lugos. Lugos is fine, but um, the question is: Is do you, I want a Mulligan? There's two Clan on Crate Raiders. Uh, one Clan on Crate Raider left in my deck, so it's not too dangerous of Mulligan. I think if there's two, I normally don't take the Mulligan. So as you can see here, I'm waiting 13 to two. He's not playing the Olgier, and then I got my Saris. Okay, so Olgier coming out to. Um, I think that we're just going to Dorigeri and Ekimara. My Dorigeri. I wish that I got him in the first round, because what you can do is actually when the Ekimara goes to the bin, you can res it with Priestess of Freya for carryover into the next round. So he will be harpooning that Ekimara. So we need to make a play to pull ahead again. 
and since it's only a one point difference, that play can be literally anything. It might be Markvarg, and we just trigger Saris for him this turn. Does that is that enough? We would be tied. That's not good enough. Um, so let's resurrect. Hmm. Let's fighting frost. Not a moment. No, let's blood curling her. Let's do it on my grimmest. I want to try to get more cards out of him, so even though I lost round one, I want him to think that he's bleeding me out. Because I have this restore. Ugh, could this have just landed on the back row? That would have been great. Okay, so I think we're going to launch Eskel on that uh, Skirmishers to get him to try to burn another Priestess this round. And then we'll just Coral it. The of Morhog. three units by one. Okay. Wish I had that guy that heals my stuff. I guess in theory I could technically get that card here. Wow. What is it? So let's go ahead and do that actually. Well, I think strengthening a thing by two is actually stronger. Let's. Maybe we could just throw the Warmonger at him. So that way we have extra things for Priestess. We could also strengthen Ekimara by two. That doesn't sound bad. Hmm. Alright, let's take the strengthen. I actually kind of like that play. We're not going to strengthen this Ekimara. We're going to strengthen... Um, we are going to strengthen the next Ekimara that we play off the Restore. So I want to bring things down to one in this matchup instead of killing it because he has Priestess of Freya. This is making my Harpooners pretty good. Um, I think that we will just spring for this Harpooner. It's a pretty good one. I think I need to launch my Restore soon because it'll probably pass. So yeah, that's fine. I don't have my Lacerate, but I do have this. So we're going to Dorgary. I'll play our Dorgary. And we're going to... Consume some, uh, probably Saris here. Let's consume Saris. So Coral gonna come down, chew up Ekimara probably. That's fine. I think that I will... Oh, he didn't resurrect this guy, okay. I think I will take this time then to um, get this guy. And we're actually going to pitch this guy. So that way we can heal up our Akimara and our bear. If that's what what he wants us to do. He might uh, not play out this round anymore. Okay, he is going to play out this round. He's going to shoot down Dorgary, that's fine, because we can cover that with this play. And this way we'll still stay a card up on him, which is super important in this matchup. And I still have that Coral for Skirmishers, which he's probably banking on. Uh, this should be more than, a point to shut him out, more than enough points to shut him out of this round. And we'll hope to draw either Priestess or Sigrifa next turn so that we can get our Coral back. We need one more wrist trigger for Coral, because we're going to get one off of Ogierid. So let's see, we got that Ekimara carryover, which is pretty good. That'll help negate his old Garrett carryover. Um, he is going to have access to Saris, I believe, this turn. Uh, he has two triggers, so he might not be able to. Um, we can, in theory, keep this card and discard it as our last card to get Saris back, which is an 11-point play. Lacerate's the worst draw. Harpooner's probably a better draw. Priestess is a significantly better draw. So Grief is the best draw. Warmonger's okay. Let's try it. All right. That'll be good. That'll play. So we'll start with this. Pitch the last. Clan on crate raider. Get a 
Uh, Sarah's out, so 28 points, just 5. He has 2 cards, I have 2 cards. We'll see who wins this one. And I have the last play for Coral on his uh, Skirmisher. So, this is why you don't see a lot of people playing Skirmisher anymore. So he discards Priestess, that'll guarantee him a... So he gets Priestess, that guarantees him a Sarah's activation if this last card can resurrect that Priestess. So let's see what he has here. He will restore. So he's going to restore the Priestess. Play Priestess. It's fine. This is a huge tempo play, but he's absolutely destroyed by this Coral. So boom. That guy comes down. He's huge. He gets Sarah's back. Oh, he doesn't get Sarah's back. Oh, that's right, because he didn't do a double risk. I thought he was going to risk the, the Priestess, but he did not. So this will finish him off. Boom. Nice and easy. So that brings my MMR up pretty high. I'm climbing up. 4,300 almost. So thank you everybody for watching. Again, I have a new series called Aces and Amateurs coming out. And I'm still looking for content. The reason that the content kind of slowed down is because I just don't have a lot to cast. I'll probably start doing some recasts of tournaments that are going on. But I would really like some personal games. So if you watch this channel and you've got some extra games, go ahead and send them over to me at hamawolfgwent at gmail.com. So thank you everybody for watching. This is Hamwolf, signing off.